it is currently off. It's on its 30 minute downtime here. You can see the bucket again. I did this last night, but it's a little bit dark, so we'll hit it up again. You can see all the wrappers and containers uh, that came off of that. I was just shaking the dirt off here in the yard. It'll be absorbed into the grass. The grass should be healthy and happy about that. But let's see here. This is the Brandywine Cherokee Purple Tomato. And I am pretty happy about this. As you can see the roots, I got a lot of that dirt off. So it was in a big pot, but that's all the roots that we have there. And it's looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and set that back down. I don't know if I can, if I can set that in there and shoot at the same time or not. The next one is the Parks Improved Bopper Tomato. I think this one actually looks pretty sweet. Uh, I like the picture of it, a nice round tomato. And this one's actually perked up a little bit. When I came home today, this was super droopy. Like all the leaves were just like that. So I'm thinking it probably didn't have enough water. Made it a little bit easier to get the dirt off. There's still some dirt in there. Hopefully that'll separate. But as you can see, the roots, not super, super long. And these were bought probably about oops, depth of perception and try and there we go. These were bought probably, uh, I would say maybe a week and a half after that I bought my initial plants. This is the first one I put in here. I actually taped this bad boy down because we've had some gusty winds here and I didn't want anything to happen. This actually looks better than it did the other night, so I don't know if you can tell that or not. But uh, yeah, this is another one of the uh, heirloom beefsteak tomatoes. And we'll go ahead and try to get this bad boy out of here. But the roots were not that long. They ended pretty much bottom of frame like right there. So the roots have actually been growing on this one or they just got freed up from the dirt. There's still some like sticks and matters in there. They must use some sort of compost, uh, but uh, let's see if we can get that back down in there. But we're gonna take a look at the roots and see how well that they're performing and growing. But it does look to, to have perked up a little bit since we last visited this, which was just last night. So last night I was out here is probably about 8-11, uh, considering it is April 16th. The days aren't quite as long, so I wanted to hit this back up again. Uh, this is where I'm going to be planting in the pepper plant. And then over here I'll have another tomato plant, which is probably going to be that little brandy wine right there. So I'm going to take that bad boy and pop her in here. And the last one's going to be this guy. I'm pretty excited about this one. This was an heirloom Tabasco. I do like Tabasco sauce. I like hot sauces. And I don't have any Serrano, so I'm probably going to have to buy a couple of serrano peppers and then dry them out and then grow them from seed. So I thought I was done filming for the night, but when I got to the heirloom Tabasco plant, it looks as though there's a secondary plant that's growing right there. So I'm actually going to put that into one of my other spots. So as you can see, we got this little plant separated out of the rest of the mix and that's what it looks like. Little roots going through there, so we'll keep an eye on this one and see what it does.